Hi guys, so today I'm going to start um, reviewing some of the items that Diamond Press is bringing to HSN for the July craft day. Um, these items were sent free of charge from my review and all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you ever purchase items through those links. Um, so I'm going to start off, I think, with the um, Slimline card kits, uh, a great basic and it has everything you want in them. Um, to make some really nice slimline cards and if you're familiar with their card kits um, you've seen kind of the type of thing that they do but let's open these up so um, we have Mary and Bright and then we have uh, Farmhouse Greetings so I'm gonna open these to get them out of the box and I will be right back oh my gosh these are so cute already I love the box and look at this one Ugh. I did want to mention they were wrapped in the plastic and then they had did have these little foam pieces in the corners which is really great because actually this one box had a little a little something there and the box is perfectly great so that's awesome I do like that they took care of packaging it that way okay so let's start with uh, let me see. so this is the farmhouse greetings one really pretty box really nice and sturdy and substantial of course you can reuse it and look at this oh when you open it up have a very Merry Christmas. That makes something great. Really sturdy. That's some good chipboard there. Um, it starts off with your card ideas right on top. Just some layering here. Again, all these pieces will be in here, whatever they show on here. Uh, this has 24 slimline cards, three of each design. And see, the designs are really pretty. Very farmhouse uh, Christmas. 80 rhinestones, 30 gold foil die cuts, three of each. And the wood veneers, four of each. Raffia and paper twine, the decorative die cuts, the transparent die cuts, the storage box, of course, and 24 slimline envelopes. So let's take a look at some of these items. Some things you can see right through here, but oh my gosh, these are so pretty. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little something in my throat there. Look how cute. Very dainty and pretty. We have the little snowflakes and the little deer, which is awesome in this style, especially. Um, the rhinestones are just really gorgeous, like jewel colors. All these die cut pieces. I'm assuming these are separate because they're like the foil die cuts, as you can see. Really nice, substantial size here. Have a very Merry Christmas. Looks like what was on the box. Oh, I love that Joy one. Look at this. Warmer swishes to you. I really pretty. That raffia, this stuff is super cool. I like this one. Well, I like them all, but this one um, makes a really pretty uh, bow. And you wouldn't think that with the raffia, you know, you just wrap it around. And then this one is more like a twine feel, but it's raffia. And then, oh, yes. I did say that they had some, like, acetate pieces. Or transparent. Look at those. So pretty. So several in different sizes there. We have our little wreath. More there. I love the feel of these. Again, not shiny, just really nice pieces, nice and thick. They have a nice thickness to them. Sorry, I'm gonna start dropping them here. And then look at the little deer. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put these back down. I'm probably not gonna pop them back in the bag for now, but because we're gonna use them in a bit anyway. Let me close that up. <clears throat> and then the card bases and envelopes, green, red, this gorgeous craft. And then we have our card bases. Really nice thickness, I don't know if you can hear that. I think these are thicker than the other ones I've felt before. Really nice. We have the wood grain, the stripe there. The wood. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. The black polka dots. And then, of course, the one like on the cover, which is beautiful with that berry, holly berry. And then we have our plaid kind of design. And this one. Oh, look at that. It looks like a watercolor kind of plaid. Very, very pretty. So, again, that's the farmhouse uh, greetings. And then this is Mary and Bright. And it is Mary and Bright. Look at the little dots. So cute. Tis the most wonderful time of the year. Aw, look how nice and bright this is. So this one's more traditional, like the red and greens and 
really pretty oh yes um and their sneak peek if again like i always mention if you guys aren't signed up for their newsletter for dime press you can go to mydiamondpress.com these items that i'm showing you are for hsn i don't want to get anyone confused but um on mydiamondpress.com you can sign up for their newsletter and they'll send out email blasts here and there there were uh, previews of um pretty much whatever they're bringing to HSN this time around and I did see that they had the die cut backgrounds I thought that was really cool so again the card bases and the um, envelopes 24 sentiment die cuts the die cut backgrounds solid backgrounds we have rhinestones satin ribbon decorative die cuts the transparent die cuts and then well the envelopes are down here and the box of course so oh this is so cool so this is just a lot of sentiments it is the most wonderful time of the year. And that's a nice size. Again, these are slimline cards, so it needs to be a nice size there. Merry Christmas, Season's Greetings, you know, Winter Wishes, Merry and Bright. There's something else I'm holding there. Believe. Oh, that's so sweet. Let It Snow. And then there's another one in the back there. I overlooked there. Um, the thinner kind of ribbon. Really sweet to make a bow with. I like that. Um, very bright rhinestones. I love how they mix and match all these colors, like with pink, that's a little unexpected. We have some um, just cardstock pieces. That red, the pink, the dark green, and like a mint green. Let me show you these next, that way you can kind of see those together. So we have some die cuts that are ready to go. And we have like a snowflake. Put it up here. We have whoop, doo, doo. this one has like little flowers. That's <laughs> so funny. Some of the weeding there. Um, this one has like little dots, and then we have like a postage stamp kind of looking one. And I'm assuming they nest over these. Yeah, you can nest them right over these pieces that are already cut basically to size. And I'm gonna keep that to the side just for a second to show you when we get to the card bases how that would work. Again, we have the little transparent pieces in here. Oh my gosh, this is tons of die cuts. So those little pretty guys there. A little string of lights. This reminds me of um, a stamped and die set that they had in the past. So cute. And then we have Santa, which, you know, takes up the whole front of your card. I love that these are nice and sizable that way. Lots and lots of different things here. Aww. Little holly or mistletoe I guess and then our card bases and envelopes so I just want to walk you through them and then we'll um, layer up some cards very easy so again the envelopes we have that kind of minty color red and a slightly different green than was in the other pack this one's a little softer I think the other one was more of a forest green this one almost has like a teal feel to it and then how cute are these very sweater, reminding me of a sweater. We have that minty color, we have red, we have the pink card base, the candy stripe, or you know, just peppermint stripe, whatever you want to uh, plaid there. A deep green, and then the green polka dot. And what I wanted to show you was basically how these all can just kind of layer up and then add your little pieces to that. So really cute. So let me um, Think about what I want to do, and we'll put some cards together. Okay, guys, for this first one, the one I had already sit now, I think I'm going to do something like this. This is, like, the base that I want to use, and then I'm going to tuck in some of the pieces here and there. But I think this is really sweet just to start off with. And I'm going to pop this guy up, so let's go ahead. Oh, actually, I don't want to glue it down quite yet because I wanted to use some of the little snowflakes that are in this set and kind of tuck them in in the back. Um, it might have a plastic carrier from when they were uh, created, so, like, this one had a little plastic on the back and I just peel it off. <clears throat> trying to see if th it's up to you, you know, which side you want to use. Like this is the side where the paint is on the back or the paint on top. Um, I kind of like it with the paint facing down <laughs> the painted side, so I'm, that's what I'm going to do. And I think I want to tuck some in behind like here and there, you know. Yeah. So I'm just going to place these wherever I would like Maybe this one can come down here and this one can be you see oh yep yeah, this one has a little plastic carrier on it 
Just take that right off. Okay. So I'm going to glue them down something like that. Now, since they are acetate, you can use a little pop dot, or, you know, a little kind of flat like the adhesive. But what I'm going to do is just run it along here and there. And this stuff dries pretty clear, so I'm not super afraid of that. I'm just going to kind of tuck it in there so you can see it from behind, but they'll be behind the frame a little bit. Oh, that's cute peeking out of the corner there. Okay, before that really dries, because those are um, acetate, they take a second to dry the glue. I'm going to put this down, and if I have to make any adjustments, I will do that. But I'm going to place this right over that. Okay. I'm going to bring this one down a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to hold this down and I'll be right back. Okay, and I was waiting for that to dry. I added some dimensional adhesives just here and there on the back of this little guy. And I just want him to be like right here. So cute. I always love the Santa with the sleigh, <laughs> the reindeer. That's like one of my favorite um, designs. And then I'm going to add one of these sentiments. So you can kind of play with it. I mean, obviously this one's kind of big for what I did here. So we'll skip that one. We can go Season's Greetings, Merry Christmas. That's probably one of the better sizings. Oh, I believe that's really sweet. Tuck that in there. Uh, I am going Happy Holidays. I'll do this Merry Christmas. And I am just going to glue it down because I have this guy popped up and that's what I wanted to be more of the focal point but you can always layer dimensionals you can have something where it's doubled up so it's that much higher and then still put some dimensional on this other one I just like the way it kind of looks like a postcard or like a stamp and then with the Santa oh if you want to be super extra you can take some of these little rhinestones and pop them in there even though they're just kind of peeking out Maybe that's what I'll do. So probably at the end of the video, you'll probably see that I pop some of these out and just put them on there. But quick and easy card and just lovely. Look at that. A lot going on. All right, let's try out the farmhouse K. And with this one, a lot of times I tell you, you know, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can always um, use the, the inspiration and copy that, you know. A lot of times I hear from people that they like to work with these, like with their grandkids or with their kids, um, because everything's going to look pretty. And, you know, you can even show them something like that and say, oh, they can build that up. And then as they get more confidence in creating things, um, it's just really sweet. So I think I'm going to do this one because I like the style of that. So I'm going to grab everything from the kit that I would need. Looks like we need this guy. I'll get that big die cut. And all the other pieces that I'll need, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have everything chosen. I'm going to keep this in front of me just so I'm looking at it. Um, and I do want to point out that some of them, because I was like, oh, that the little flower, I was trying to look for this swag. And I couldn't find it because this one's kind of reversed of that. But then I realized they have two. So that's pretty nice. I like when they have details like this. So, like, if you wanted to put this on a card, you have the exact opposite. You know, really cute. But I picked something else out in the meantime, so I'm just going to use this one. So, like I said, it's inspiration. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Um, and so, as I'm looking at it, it looks like they built it up. We have this little tree here. And then we have this piece here. Kind of poking out behind there. I would pop this up on dimensionals. That would be my preference on that one. Possibly. Because then the other ones they put in the front. So, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it flat. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll do that and then put the little deer up on some dimensionals. Something like that. We have this guy here. And then we had our little guy. And he has, like, a little bow on, which is basically from the twine. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, so I'm just going to glue things down. I just want to see about how the spacing should be, you know, so this works out. Something like that. So I'm going to move these off. Start with this guy. And glue that one down. 
Then we'll put this in here. I'm not going to push it down quite yet because I don't really know exactly where I want this. And something like that. Let me bring this down a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down. Somewhere like there. And I'm just eyeballing all of this. Of course, if you really want to like make sure it's centered, you can pay attention to your grid lines and where you're trying to put that. But for now, I'm just doing that. We did have a little pretty guy up here. And again, paint up, paint down, however you like to do that. This time I'll put the paint up and see if you can even tell a difference. I'll put a little glue there and a little bit coming down the side here. And this little guy is like right here. And then we have these guys over here. Again there, two little trees. Happy little trees, as they say. <laughs> and about the same as the other one there. And then put this one also uh, like in here. We went off the edge a little bit. And then we have our little snowflake. Again, I'll put the glue on the side that's not painted. Something like that. And then I'm going to work on this little guy. Here he is. I was like, where did I put him? Um, separately, and then we'll stick him on. Or should we stick him on first? I think I want to add his little bow first. And I like the cut look of the black on there, so that's what I'll do. Let's open this guy up. Super easy. Again, I'm just following along from what they have there. And should I do my little trick? I don't know if this is... I would just do one, huh? I might do my little trick just to make it a little easier. But however you like to make bows, of course that'll work. Let me see, I need a piece that's quite long. So I just did the <laughs> over my index finger, behind, over the middle finger. I don't want it to be too big. Uh, give myself a little more slack here. And usually I go back around again, but this time I'm just going to go over everything, under, and back up under this piece that we just created, that loop that we just made. And I've done this plenty of time on other videos. Probably a lot slower, but I try to do that as slow as I could. And then I'm just going to adjust it, so I'll take some time, because obviously this bow is kind of big. It went around my fingers. Oops, see. There we go. See. <laughs> so I'm going to take some time to just kind of play with this, make it a little bit smaller, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this down a little bit. And I'm going to use a wet glue, although the other glue would set up faster, <laughs> because um, I want to add this little guy. But we'll just put it there. And I'll add this little guy here. And what I'm going to do is carefully put some um, dimensionals on the back. And then we'll pop them on and we'll be done. Okay, and here's the last little bit here. I'm just going to pop this on and bring it up a little bit closer. And it looks like he's just kind of in here in the woods over here. <laughs> so cute. All right, so normally I would let that um, glue set up before I would mess with it but since I'm filming it's a little bit different story for me so there they are let me grab the other one the other card we made and I'll be right back all right guys so there they are again I'll probably add a few little rhinestones to this one and this one I think is pretty decked out but you can always add more rhinestones it always looks great so thank you so much Diane Press for sending these items for review I will have the links for you um, with the if and when they're available they'll be in the description box um, uh, you know full disclosure I filmed these a little early so I can have them ready for you guys so I'm not sure if the items are up on HSN yet but if it is the link will be there and keep an eye out for the rest of the reviews lots of good stuff you guys all right I'll see you at the next one Bye now.